Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to control a Windows computer remotely from command line much like you would be controlling a Linux operating system for example. You will need to set up few things before you can do it but it's fairly easy and it's all covered in this tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be split in three parts. The first part is the setting up part and we will be doing this all um, over Windows Remote Control so if you don't know how to do that, luckily I made a tutorial for that earlier just in case so the remote control of Windows computer is done pretty much the same way as it's done for Unix computers uh, over a secure shell so to be able to use secure shell in Windows, we need uh, we need to get a little program called Sequin. Sequin is a program that allows you to enter into Unix-like environment inside Windows platforms. But you, uh, however, you can't run uh, applications built for Linux without rebuilding them first by yourself. So by running Sequin, you won't still be running a Linux operating system, alright? So, the first part includes installing Sequin and setting up the SSHD that, that would be the SSH server including all the needed users and all that stuff The second part uh, includes collection of nice little command line tools or commands, whatever uh, nothing too advanced as it would just get way too confusing so I'll be covering a few commands you can use in the command line but I won't go too much in detail um, the third part is just how to remove the programs like how to remove sequin and how to remove the users and the settings from your computer and this is just so you don't have to struggle with it trying to figure it out all by yourself so I'd recommend you to watch all the three parts of this tutorial before you start installing anything uh, oh and much of the commands in the second part will work on your Windows command line without installing anything so if you don't want to install anything you should still check the second part of this tutorial just to see if there is something new for you so before we get started I just want to show you uh, what you can do with this uh, SSH so this is my sequin running on my computer and this is uh, Ubuntu also running on my computer in a virtual machine so to connect to the Ubuntu, I type ssh username at IP I just know to IP so in this point it would ask if I want to save the RSA key but because I have it already it won't ask it so now I'm connected to Ubuntu alright so in here if I if I have for example Firefox running uh, I could just use a program called top and uh, I can see my Firefox is 2316 and if I press K in here and the process ID is 2316 and now it asks if I want to kill with signal 15 yeah sure and now the Firefox is gone press Q to exit from there I could make a new file um, so 
so now there is a new file on my desktop and stuff like that you can do that on Windows as well from this same tool okay so uh, let's get the program uh, sequin <laughs> my flash plugin keeps crashing I don't know why it just started today and I haven't in investigated what what's the cause anyway <laughs> uh, go to sequin.com download gonna install it in install from internet and I'm gonna install it in uh, C hidden sequin I'm gonna put the local package directory in the same place direct connection I'm gonna choose a faster mirror for myself. Oh, where do you go? There. It will ask you a question to check the manual. You just want to click yes. And in here, um, search for SSH, click the plus sign, select auto SSH and open SSH. If you want to edit uh, text files from command line, you would have to install a text editor that would be nano. For example, that's what I use. click next and next and now this will take a while so we'll be back after it's done okay so the install is finally done because I want to hide my sequin installation I'm just gonna uncheck the icon boxes for creating the icons and hit finish and now because I didn't create the icons I have to start it either from going to the folder or from command line so in command line I just type the path to the program and the program name and hit enter and now this is the first time we're running it so it will do some setting up and in here to enable the SSH server we will need to run a little script called ssh dash host dash config there's a bunch of questions you will be asked uh, you you want to ask yes in most of them but it will ask if you want to change the name and stuff like that just answer in the way I do and it will be the easiest New local account, yes. Yes, we want to install it as a service. Uh, the name for the uh, service would be SSHD. Now we want to use the same name, so we will ask for no. The name would be sig underscore server. And we will create a new account for that. And the password. Okay, now the settings are done. So to start the ser server, we need to type net start shd. Okay, so now the ssh server is installed. And the next thing to do is to hide the server 
uh, user from the user account you can see it's in here as privileged server but we want to hide it still keeping it enabled so we're going to do that in, uh, rec uh, in the rec edit program and the key or we have to add a couple keys in here in this path down here so we're gonna do right click new key and the key is special accounts uh, the S and A are capital and in the special accounts we're going to make a new key again that is called user list Uh, U and L are capital again and in the user list right click new D word and in the D word we are going to put the username we want to use and in our case it's uh, sig underscore server so now if we go to manage accounts I just have to go back to refresh it you see that the privileged server user is gone and it's also gone from the login screen and now the last thing to do is to hide the hidden folder so go in properties hidden apply if we go to organize folder and search options view do not show hidden files and folders click apply and now the hidden folder is gone so that's it for the first part and this was the boring part maybe the third part is boring as well but the second part is actually exciting so Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part.